Will Arnett is a master at playing flawed characters, most famously in the critically acclaimed series Arrested Development. So, this is the magic trick, huh? Illusion, Michael. Mm. Trick is something a whore does for money. <laughs> that awkward humor was front and center again on 30 Rock. God, I love how much you disgust me. That voice, I'm Batman, has played key characters in several animated films. Papa's a little out of shape. Born and raised in the toniest part of Toronto, he took off for New York at the age of 20 to go to theater school and eventually hit pay dirt with those dysfunctional bluths. I've made a huge mistake. Arnett doesn't hold back on politics either, constantly tweeting about a certain polarizing candidate. But the small screen is Arnett's real soapbox, and he's back with a Netflix show he not only stars in, but helped write. And you guessed it, his character is less than perfect. Come on, I don't have time for this. He's a recovering alcoholic who's his own worst enemy. The only thing I can do is just try to be a better person. I sat down with Arnett earlier in Toronto. That's the only applause I've had today. <laughs> That's the best one. I could clap again. Yeah. <laughs> So nice to meet you, Will. You too. Yeah, and you're from you're from Canada. I am from Canada. Come here often. Um, that's a great pickup line. <laughs> uh, I uh, I come here a couple times a year. My my folks still live here. You grew up like in a really rough part of Toronto. Uh, I did Ro Rosedale. Yeah, the uh, the hard knock streets of <laughs> Rosedale. Yeah. So were you like funny in high school or were you tortured here in Canada? Um, well, those are two separate questions because uh, I was both. Uh, I guess I was funny. I mean, I don't know. Lots of people were funny. Um, I, I would probably be, I'm sure I was considered like the class clown. Uh, but I never really thought that I could, I was going to rely on my humor to provide a living. <laughs> you know, um, I actually said to my dad, uh, within the last two or three years, um, we were down in Los Angeles, and I said, uh, God, who knew that being a jackass was going to pay off so well? But now in this new show, you're not a jackass. You're like this feeling guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so why? Well. <laughs> How'd that happen? Uh, you know, I, I, I spent a lot of time, a long time, uh, playing characters that were that were sort of goofy and maybe a little more arch and over the top. Um but for me, also, always had a little bit of a heart to them. This is, uh, with my new show, Flaked, I really wanted to create something that was a lot more identifiable, a, lo a lot more grounded, um, that people could maybe relate to on a different level. Uh, and it's kind of closer to the stuff that I've wanted to do for a while. Um, really? So you haven't yeah. always just wanted to be funny? No, I, You're you know like what? a dramatic guy. Well, I moved to New York uh, initially and went to, to theater school there to be a dramatic actor. Hmm. And I kind of fell into doing comedy kind of by mistake, just to pay the rent. Um, but I, initially, I wanted people to take me seriously. I, I was young enough to think that that was important. Uh, you know, Flaked isn't really a drama. It is kind of a comedy, uh, but it has a lot of, I want the comedy to really come out in the dialogue and to be much more, um, it's a little darker, it's a lot more wry. I can't do this. Come on, man. It's no time like the present. No, I mean, there's no handle on it. I can't do this. Anymore. This is a guy who's deeply flawed. He's made a lot of mistakes, who has created this persona for himself, and he is a pathological liar to a certain degree. But there's, you know, there's a reason for everything. There's a reason we all become who we become. You are you. Wherever you are, you should be excited to find that out. And the characters kind of play a lot of word gymnastics with each other, constantly trying to let the other guy paint himself into a corner. Um, that to me is always kind of funny. What can I do to help? Oh, well, she's looking for places in Mar Vista. Oh, dude, that's no good. It's the other side of Lincoln, now you'll never see her. Yeah, I already feel like I'm losing her. Well, don't get ahead of yourself. She's plenty of time to lose her. First, you gotta get her. So, as a Canadian, yeah. what's it like watching um, Trump and company? It's pretty funny, um, as a Canadian, to watch Donald Trump. Um, I gotta say, it's pretty funny for most Americans too. If it's if it wasn't for the fact that it's so um, kind of, you know, the, the stakes are so high, so there is a, a sense of panic that's kind of starting to set in. Uh, 
But it is absurd to watch uh, a candidate who has gone so far into the pro deep into the process, who is still not really um, kind of laid out what uh, any kind of uh, uh, game plan when it comes to to the real issues. Um, it seems to be all about the size of his fingers lately. The, the thing with the fingers or his hair, and I was saying to somebody earlier, like he just like he all he does is he gets up and he talks about his poll numbers, but. People, you know, they, they try to hold his feet to the fire on, well, what are you going to do? We keep saying, you know, my plan, uh, you know, uh, we're going to get rid of Obamacare. My new plan is going to be so much better, so much better. Like, well, okay, well, what is it? It's going to be so much better. <laughs> like, it's absurd that he's this far into the process. It's funny to me just because it is, it's like, it's just art right now. It's not really, it's, it's like this bizarro kind of comedic art. Satire, it's almost, except that... Yeah. yeah. Did you see the meme, um, the Chris Christie face while he was... I think you tweeted about Chris Christie, yeah. the decision that he'd made. Yeah. Somebody, a guy I know, tweeted something with the meme with, the, with his face, and, and then I sort of retweeted and added the, what he was referring to, which was a, a quote from my character Joe from Arrested Development saying, I've made a huge mistake. And there was that sort of look on his face that he had, you know, of like... Oh no, <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. It's amazing. If a year ago you'd made it up, people would say, well, that's just over the top. Yeah, but now, now he could be the guy. He, he might be the guy. Yeah. So are you going to move back? It sounds like everybody's moving to Cape Breton now, all the Americans. Are I know. I have no plans as of right now to move back, but, you know, I'm keeping my options open. <laughs> Let's yeah. just see what happens and... Um, You've commented on how some people have said that's offensive. You can't say that as a as a as a comedian or mm -hmm. as a funny person. Mm -hmm. Like, where is the line of of offense right now? Like, is there anything that shouldn't be said? And well, how I, you... I think that that's it's what's really important is that we, in your question is that you say where is that line of offense right now because it is constantly shifting. I don't know. I think that look, if something is funny, it's funny. I, I, and and. You know, I'm quoting Ricky Gervais, who said, just because you're offended doesn't mean that you're right. Um, we live in an age where uh, the moment that one half of a person is offended, and by the way, their offense might be, the fact that they're offended might be just on a very sort of minor level. But if anybody's offended at all, then you have to wipe the, the slate. And I think that that's a very dangerous place to live in. I think that we have to understand, we have to be able to laugh and make fun of of ourselves. Otherwise, it, 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 otherwise, we just lose all perspective. And I think that we need to kind of maintain a little bit of perspective. And it's so interesting where the line is, though. I was watching a really old episode of, uh, of Frasier, and yeah. they were making, like, tranny jokes. So uh, this uncle of yours, does he dress like a woman all the time? Oh, <laughs> certainly not for work. His congregation would never stand for it. <laughs> now you could never... But is that good, or but is you that You can't bad? even say the word... T R A N N Y. Yeah. yeah. You, you can't say the word. Now, look, that's. Whereas 20 years ago, it was a joke on mainstream television. I know. And but what's right? I, I, <laughs> I really don't know what's right. But there, the, the problem is, why does it have to be right or wrong? Like, why, why do we all have to adhere to. I'm not saying that I want to make that joke. That, that is, and I'm saying that, look, you watch an old episode of uh, All in the Family. Uh, from 1971. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to make most of the episodes of that show today. And yet it opened doors to conversations that needed of to be Of course it yeah. did. Yeah. And we've learned nothing from it. In fact, we've kind of gone the other way. Mr. Jefferson? <laughs> you wait! And you're black. It's a kick in the head, ain't it? I'm not saying to go out there and wholesale offend people in that we shouldn't be sensitive to, to you know, certain people's uh, uh, lives or how they're living their lives, et cetera, and expressing themselves or whatever, or, or their very, the, the very sort of nature of their being. But I am saying that it's important for us to uh, lighten up. What's the point otherwise? If this series, new series works with you as the serious guy, yeah. is, is this your new, you're not going to be funny ever again? <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. Oh. No, uh, <laughs> uh, 
I think that I like playing some of the bigger characters who are much more arch and kind of sillier. But I also like to do this kind of thing, which is a lot more about the words and, and about meaning something. I like this place. It's like an online community, but in real life, you know? Like a community. Yeah. I think that they can live simultaneously. Um, you know, we're hoping to make more Arrested Development. It'd be great to go and do that and be able to continue and flip back to, to Flaked. Mm. Well, good luck. Thank it's you so really much. It's been really nice to meet you. Thank you. You too.